This is Arnold again. We are going to to test now this motherboard, which is socket 370. Okay. Then the processor is the Intel processor. This is Intel processor. Pentium 3, 733 MHz, 256 maximum capacity of the memory, and have a bus frequency of 133. Then the voltage is 1.65 volts. So this is compatible with. Uh, Pension 3 uh, computer this is the Windows 98 or the Millennium Edition or the Windows 2000 then let us try we will try now to to test the operating system the Windows XP ok so now we need first we need to assemble the motherboard we need to try this if this will display to the monitor screen okay it have a uh, memory so it has been press or remove the dust build up This is the BIOS. So let's move the jumper to CMOS clip. Now remove the battery. Then they insert the battery. Then return it to the jumper to the normal. Okay, so it now opens. So let's try to check the memory, the RAM. So we have now a RAM which is uh, SD, SD RAM, with the synchronous dynamic random access memory. It has uh, two breakouts. Then the label rating here uh, PC 133333 is the RAM then it have a speed of 64 MB 133 MHz okay so let's check if the processor is compatible the, com the processor is 733 uh, speed what we call the clock rate and have a maximum capacity of memory of 256 the bandwidth is 133 now this one is 133 also but it has a uh, 64 MB so we can upgrade more in the memory okay now the other one RAM is also an SD RAM PC133 in the bandwidth then on the capa capacity is only 128 so we can upgrade another one okay so I, I will find another, another memory Let's then first the DEM, uh, the dual inline memory module. Okay. So I have no DEM. Uh, 
let's clean first the, the memory contact pin okay so using the eraser insert the uh, the microprocessor to the socket to the set socket so uh, it's a uh, zero insertion for socket so let's find the breakouts so it has a breakouts and it has the breakouts now on the processor it has a breakouts you see this you see this okay so insert make position to the breakouts of the socket and also to the breakouts of the processor okay. it must be inserted properly or zero insertion first okay so you see that okay so we close the label now The, props, the processor is now inserted properly now on the, the RAM part of the, pro of the computer because this is not properly inserted then once power off it will burn to the voltage divider of the motherboard okay. so now let's find another one uh, it's burn which is uh, uh, 128 MBFM because this is only 128 with a bus capacity of 133 gigs so we point another one 120 it's that the compatibility or the synchronization of the processor is exact to the RAM because it said uh, the memory is synchronous dynamic random access memory it will synchronize to the speed of the processor okay of the memory so maybe this is not a good one so let's try it Let's try this one. This one, this one is 64. This is PC 100. That is not uh, compatible. This is 133 MHz. So this is only 64. Only. So let's find another one.
I need a lot of hardware in this classroom, in this laboratory classroom of the computer. This is 2.6 is the One hundred twenty-eight PC one three three. This is the This is the This is program two DDR. Which is SDRAM PC 133 MHz, one module 256 MB. Okay, so I will try this one. I will move this 120. Let's check if this is good or compatible to the processor. This is the uh, air block for the cooling system of the computer. Okay. So this computer is very old. Uh, it's an old one computer. Okay, but let's try to run this in uh, Windows XP. The next user of my widget presentation is the I will try this for the Windows 7 if this will run to the Windows 7 or compatible to Windows 7. Okay. So this will not I'm going to insert the, the, the cooling system. So we need to insert first in the low side. So we need the thermal piece. And this is the thermal piece. Put in the processor. This is the peanut sensor. CSS. Peanut says, okay. uh, the uh, air block. the clip of the air block to the socket okay. so it's uh, inserted properly now the connector of the power of the air block or the cooling fan and insert to the connector of the power for the motherboard 
Okay, so be sure to avoid the wire to the moving objects of the CPU. So this motherboard has socket row 17. It is uh, built in BGE, which is the EGP type. So there are no EGP slots in this motherboard, only the PCI, PCI and the AMR, the audio modem ISO. So there are no EGP slots. So we'll use now the built in EGP. So we cannot insert this one because it's EJP type. So there are no EJP slots. Like for example this one. So you cannot insert. Okay. And let's try to connect the power supply. So that we will check if this will uh, display to the monitor screen. Okay. And this is the power supply. So the pay issue. It has, uh, it has uh, 400 okay so 130 watts maximum 5 volts okay so combined to 385 watts maximum total output of 400 watts maximum okay so this is a 400 uh, what's maximum this is uh, 220 to 240 volts ac for alternating current okay so let Supply is not connected. So let us connect now the keyboard and mouse. Now the DB15 or the DB code for the monitor screen. Connect it to the DGE port of the motherboard. It's a built in. The disadvantages of the built in uh, video card it will get the uh, a shared memory to the main memory of the motherboard. Okay, so if this computer have uh, 256 uh, capacity of run if I will share the 64 in the so it will subtract to the capacity of 256 in the okay so now the video code well, the DB code is now connected, so let's try to power up. Okay. It has uh, an error. Okay. I do a memory.
the memory is bad. So let's try it another one. So let's try this one. Number 28. This number is bad. So another error. So the error here is Okay, so the error here is the CMOS checksum. So we need to set up and to change the language to English. So it have uh, instructions of F2 then bias. So we need to press the keyboard, the F2 to the keyboard. Okay, so now this is the F2. See that? So it's a Korean. So in just it just change to English. Okay. So now the speed is 733 megahertz. Touch memory is 256 KB, and the total memory is 127. So we will need to find another one memory because it is 127 only. So we have another 126 so that it will upload it to 256 so this one we need to disable this one because it is the micro clock with this thread okay uh, disable. so now this is, this is uh, disabled so we have no hard drive okay so then, uh, Let's check how much the graphics, okay? how much the graphics uh, capacity. So video, on board video card is enabled, the full primary video adapter is EGP. So now uh, so let's change, uh, it is an EGP video graphic adapter. So, Memory bank is 128 is the RAM. So screen will go and be disabled. Good start of the okay. Set order. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So now let's check the display capacity here. So we'll check the post, the power and self test. Legacy is USB support. So it's now save. So to save the BIOS, it's just only press F10 of the keyboard. Function 10 key. So now it has a pop up window. Instructions to save configuration changes and exit now. So press enter to proceed. Yes. Okay. Let's check the post. Okay, the post. 
the operating system was from. So, we will check the capacity of the video, me video memory after we install the hard drive and the operating system Windows XP. Okay. Now the language is in this now, so let's turn up. So let us find another one, one of the 28 uh, one.
Das ist nicht ne? Это до моей толстой. is 733 megahertz then the total memory is 255 MB so the cache memory is 256 Is 128 MB. Save now. So now our configuration of the motherboard is now normal, now it's now good. So we are ready to assemble for the hard drive and the operating system.
Power supply is compatible to the ATX power connector. This one, this is not uh, used in the socket 370 motherboard. Remember that the hard drive is the most delicate part of the system unit because inside of this is the operating system and the important files. Okay, so you must to be careful with the hard drive. Now let's connect the hard drive to the to the to the Hard was big, okay. So this is now the IDE, IDE connector of the hard drive. So this blue will be connected to the IDE connector of the motherboard. So you see this one. So it has an 80 pin power conductor, 80 pin conductor cable. So now if the 80 pin conductor cable, it is 133 MHz of the buses. Properly. Okay. So now this is the master and this is the, the sleeve. We can use any of these two connections of the 
ID ko na ito. This is the punch. Now this is the power connector, the 4 pin power assignment. It will be connected to the 4 pin power connector of the HDD. So now it is finished. Let's connect the power connector. 